Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's look is going to be a soft glam with a matte brown shadow and some winged eyeliner. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Taking my eyeshadow primer, the last splash till midnight elixir and I'm just spreading that evenly over my lids. Then I'm just using the Identity palette from Beauty Bay and I'm going to use that light color on the top row and I'm going to use that to both set the primer but also to have a lighter base for the, for the brown shadows we're going to use later. Then I'm taking this medium brown color on the second row and I'm going to use that all over my crease. And I'm just using a blending brush for that and this one is from Bidelium Tools and it's the 785. Then I'm just taking the darkest brown color in this palette on the fourth row and I'm just going to use that on a tapered brush to darken up my crease. Also just blending that in with the same blending brush that I used before. To really blend the eyeshadow seamlessly, I'm going to use this light brown shadow and I'm just using a small amount to really blend the crease. And I'm taking my MAC Studio Finish Concealer on a concealer brush and I'm doing kind of a messy cut crease. It doesn't really have to be super sharp to be honest because we're going to fix that later and as you can see I'm putting that on and then I'm also looking up so I create an outline for the cut crease.
using the same base color as we used before. I'm just taking some on my finger and I'm just brightening up that cut crease. some of that same base color on a sharper brush and I'm just defining the edge of the cut crease. And now I'm just going to line my eyes with the Stila Smudge Pot Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. For that, I'm just using a small eyeliner brush from Bildelium Tools. It's the 761. And then I attempted doing my eyeliner on camera, but I realized that that was kind of impossible. So I just ended up doing the winged eyeliner off camera. And I'm just curling my lashes before I'm putting on the falsies. And I'm going to use the last blush lashes called Dauntless. And then I'm also going to drop them. <laughs> Using that first brown color we used in the crease, I'm just putting that on the outer lower lash line with the angled brush. Then I'm just putting on some mascara to really make the lashes pop and I also decided to take some of that white base color again and I'm just highlighting the inner corner and the brow bone. And that was it. So thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.